Hi everyone, I'm Grace Lynn, the author and illustrator of all different kinds of books. Uh, you might know my book, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, or my book, uh, The Year of the Dog, or even my picture book, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star. Now, if you know any of my books, you know that a lot of my books have dragons in them. Uh, and that is because a lot of my books deal with Chinese culture and in Chinese culture, dragons are very important. So what I thought I'd do today is show all of you how to draw a Chinese dragon. All right, so get your piece of paper, get your pencil, and we'll draw a dragon together. All right, now, hopefully you know that there's a big difference between a Chinese dragon and a European dragon. Traditionally, European dragons were kind of considered evil. They were the ones that um, would have all these treasures and the Knights of the Round Table would have to kill them because it was, the dragons were always eating princesses and things like that. But Chinese dragons were not traditionally considered evil. Chinese dragons were almost always considered very noble and, and powerful and compassionate. So we're gonna draw a Chinese dragon and because they are considered so noble and so powerful and compassionate, these dragons are going to bring us good luck. So we're gonna draw a good luck Chinese dragons. All right, so to draw a dragon is very easy. Make sure your paper is vertical, which means tall up and down, and find the upper middle of your page, about here, okay? So we're gonna start our drawing, and to start our drawing, we're going to kind of do um, a pair of glasses. It's gonna be a circle, a line, and a circle. So it's kind of like a pair of glasses without the earpieces, right? All right, now, Chinese dragons always have horns. You know, uh, European dragons, sometimes they have horns, sometimes they don't, but Chinese dragons always have horns. So we're gonna draw some horns. To do that, I want you to go where the line meets the circle, and I want you to make a sprouting line that comes up, it goes like that. Now, from there, I want you to make a lowercase m, like three humps that come in, one, two, three. And then I want you to make a line that goes halfway and stop. Don't go all the way, just go halfway. That's one horn. Now we're gonna do the other horn. So go to the other side where the line meets the circle on this side and you're gonna make another sprouting line over here like this, all right? And then you're gonna do a backwards lowercase m, three humps that come in, one, two, three, and then another line that goes halfway down, like that, all right? Now, you have your two eyes and you have your two horns. Connect those two horns together like that with a straight line. All right, now Chinese dragons have eyebrows. So this is how we're gonna do the eyebrows. Go right here on the horn, right above the eye, and we're gonna make kind of like a three humped butterfly wing. It goes like this, one hump, two hump, three hump, and end right there on the eye, okay? So that's one eyebrow, let's go do the other one. Go to the other side and another three humped butterfly wing. One hump, two hump, three hump. All right, we have two eyes, two horns, two eyebrows. Now we're going to do the dragon snout. To do the dragon snout, we just do a nice U that goes from one eye to the next eye. Now make sure you don't use up all your paper because now we have to do the mouth, the chin, and the beard. So hopefully you left enough room at the bottom of the page there. Okay, so you have the eyes, the horns, the eyebrows, and the snout. Now we're going to do the nostrils because Chinese dragons need to breathe. So do a nice curve there and a nice curve there so the Chinese dragon can breathe. Now here's something you might not know about Chinese dragons. Chinese dragons never ever have wings. European dragons have wings, but Chinese dragons never have wings. That's because in Chinese culture, the dragon is the king of the sky. The clouds in the sky have to obey its every command. So a dragon doesn't need wings. If they want to go anywhere, they say, clouds, bring me here, or sky, bring me over there. They don't need wings to carry them through the sky because the sky will bring them wherever they want. So Chinese dragons never have wings. But Chinese dragons almost always, almost always have mustaches. So give your Chinese dragon a nice swirly mustache on either side. It's true, they 
almost always have mustaches. All right, so now we have to do the mouth. Now we want this mouth to be a smiling mouth because we want this dragon to bring us good luck. So do a nice big grin like this. Uh, give him like big teeth. He's like grinning, you know, because the happier he is, the better luck we'll have. But now that we've given him all these teeth, we have to give him a chin to hold up all those teeth. So this is what we're gonna do. On one corner of the mouth, make a line that goes down like that. And the other corner of the mouth, do another line that goes like this. And then I want you to connect those two lines together so it has a chin to hold up all those teeth. All right, next we're gonna do a beard. Chinese dragons almost always have beards too. And this is where you can decide what kind of luck you want your dragon to bring you. Because in Chinese culture, there are three lucky numbers. One lucky number is the number six. Now, the reason why the number six is lucky is because it is a homophone. When you say the word six in Chinese, you could be saying the word six, or you could be saying another word, a word that means smooth or easy. So if, you put, if we put six whiskers on our dragon, it'll mean we want him to bring us a luck that makes things go smoothly or easily for us. Let's, like, let's say we have a test tomorrow and we want the test to be easy, we could put six whiskers on our dragon. Another lucky number is the number eight. When you say eight in Chinese, you're also saying a word that sounds like the word for prosperity or money. So let's say that you uh, need some money. You could put eight whiskers on your dragon and hopefully this dragon will bring you some, some money. <laughs> Another lucky number is the number nine. When you say nine in Chinese, it sounds like the word for forever or good health. So if we put nine whiskers on this dragon, it means that we are wishing to live forever. So think about what kind of luck you want. Do you want the, the lucky number six, which means peace? Do you want lucky number eight, which means fortune? Or do you want the lucky number nine, which means uh, forever or a long life? Now, one of the reasons why I am telling you about these numbers is because these numbers actually inspired three of my most popular books. So some of you might know this book, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Now, this book, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, was inspired by the number eight, because the main character in this book, Min Li, is trying to change her family's fortune. Now, this book is kind of a prequel to Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. It's called Starry River of the Sky. And this book is about the number six, because the main character in this book, Rendy, he is so angry with his father that he runs away from home and he needs to find peace. And then this book, which is kind of a sequel to Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, this book is about the number nine, because in this book, the main character, Pinmei, and her good friend Yishan, they go on this magical adventure, and they find the secret of immortality, or the secret to living forever. So I hope you get a chance to read those books. But in the meantime, hopefully you've decided what kind of luck you want. This is how you would draw the whiskers. You go one two, three, four, five, six. Now that's if you wanted peace, but let's say you want money. So you're gonna to do two more, six, seven, eight. But let's say it's not money you want, you want to live forever, you want good health. Put one more and then you have nine. But we're not done yet, we have one more thing to do. If you've read my book, where the Mountain Meets the Moon, you know that the dragon in this book doesn't come to life until his eyes are dotted in. So our good luck will only come to us when we dot our dragon's eyes in. So here you have your lucky Chinese dragon. I hope it brings you good luck. Thanks so much. Bye.